Hi, Mark Schwibens, Property Resources, or you may be watching this on one of our 1031 tax exchange sites. We help a lot of tax exchange buyers procure buildings and loans to finish a tax exchange. We also do a lot of work with direct investors, and some of those investors have more experience than others. But in a lot of meetings in the last couple months, people are starting the meeting with where are you seeing bank loans procured at relative to an interest rate. Well, that's a pretty easy concept. All over town right now, you can probably get a 3.5% loan. Banks are trying to push that up to 365, 375, but you can still get 3.5% interest. This is really attractive. I've been selling real estate, building buildings, doing all this stuff for 43 years. This is the lowest interest rate I certainly recall. I want to give you an example of where people make a mistake. A lot of times people think, well, those borrowed monies cost me 3.5%. They do, but they cost a lot more than that to serve that debt because when you pay back debt, you have to pay the interest plus the principal. And sometimes that gets lost in the shuffle. I've had people actually look at performance and say, it looks like your debt cost is a little high. And then I remind them that amortized funds are more expensive than just the interest rate. So let's just take a million dollar loan, 20 year amortization. That comes out to $57.99 a month or $69,595 a year. If you take this cost of all your payments over 12 months and divide it by the principal amount, your true cost to serve the debt is 6.96%. So if you happen to be looking at a real estate transaction where the cap rate is below that number, you're looking at a deal that has negative amortization. Now relative to the topic, what's the true cost of borrowed funds? The rest of it's really not that complicated. A bank may ask for an appraisal. That's not that expensive, $3,500. They may ask for an inspection, probably get that done for about $3,000. And they're likely to charge a half a point to close this loan, which would be another $5,000. Those associated costs get a little expensive but the point of today's video is just to make sure you realize your true cost of funds that the building needs to serve is 6.96%. Don't lose track of that. If you have any questions, give me a call. Mark Schwibens, thank you for your time.